Uh, and Gido5. Doing 15 bucks, thank you, Gido. Thank you. And they say uh, Centaur Tom and Centaur Rider Ben. Uh, what's better, riding with a bridle and saddle or riding bareback? Um, I know nothing about uh, Warhammer or this game, but love these streams. Uh... I feel like, like the saddle, you know, I could see isn't too bad. I think the moment you put a bridle on that centaur, That's... it becomes either sexy yeah. or like oppressive. Yeah. That is the thing. I think a saddle can be mounted for both your comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could be like, look, you've got a bony butt, and you're going to just be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going, if I'm going to be carrying you somewhere, yeah, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're like, wear the bridle, Tom, I'd be like, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. And you're like, put it on. Put it it's on. It's easier for me to control you. <laughs> and the blinkers. Yeah, and the blinkers. Don't want you getting distracted. Yeah. Um, but then, how do you steer them if um, you're not doing that? Do you just poke them in the in the in the waist? I feel it's like, like oop, boop, boop, boop. I feel like you talk to them. But they can't. See, you're like there. That way. No. No. There. That. No. There. Have you ever given there. someone directions when you're in the car? <laughs> yeah, it's really annoying. Um. But also, it's not like, you know, you're riding a centaur through... Well, you mm -hmm. might be going through, like, the busy outdoor traffic. Um, mm -hmm. But you're, you're going to be riding through the woods and stuff. You'll be like... <laughs> yeah, left. <laughs> just left a bit. Like, keep heading. Also, you're on their back. You can kind of yeah. point somewhere. They'll be like, oh, okay. Well, if you're running along, it's probably quite windy and noisy. You know? It's like when you're, like, riding on the back of a motorbike with someone. You can't really talk. I don't think so you're noisy. that fast. <laughs> Horses is noisy. Clippity clop. There you go. You know, horses can run at like 50 miles an hour. 50 miles an hour? Just like, with a person on the back? I assume so. Because otherwise they can't win the race. Surely not. Surely you just. I feel like. How fast is horse? I'm going to give them like a solid 35. How fast is horse? Wow. Oh, no, that's kilometers. I knew I had 80. But, but still, surely, no, that's, that's like still like 50 miles. or 60, right? Yeah. Okay, race horse. Uh, here we go. Average race horse is 40 to 44 miles per hour. Oh, uh, so it wasn't 50, Ben. It wasn't 50. Well, this is average, right? So the good ones can probably go 50. Yeah, but we weren't talking about the world's fastest centaur. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think I wasn't far off. You weren't far off, but you were over. And so Price is Right rules. <laughs> you have lost. Um, <laughs> hmm. There you go, Dave the Owl has said 88 kilometers is 54 miles per hour. Yeah, but that's a, a horse with no man. Average no, race look, horse. That horse has man. And look how fast it's going. You can't even see it. It's you so can't fast. can't even see what's going on. It's like a blur. On. Wow. Faster than the camera can photograph. Wow. Wow. That's just someone with like, bad eyesight looking at the horse. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, so that's a good point. Centaur is faster because they can pump their arms. Extra go. But they're slow because they've got man. <laughs> They've got double man. They've got double man. <laughs> man. Or at least man, man and, and a half. half. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that slows you down a mm. bit. Uh, yeah. I still think it's weird to be putting that bridle on yeah, the no, sentient... I'm just playing devil's the sentient, advocate here. <laughs> uh, talk, talk person. Yeah. Because uh, I even hate it when people put it on kids, to be honest. Sometimes you see... A bridle? No, like reins. Um, sometimes you see a toddler out and about, and they've got like... A oh, harness like, oh, with okay. strings attached. That's real different, though. But no, it is no. But I'm saying even that makes me uncomfortable. So okay. like the bridle is worse than that. So yeah. I can't. I can't actually defend it. I was just. Also, I guess like. Well, yeah, because I guess like you probably wouldn't be upset if you saw someone uh, with whatever it's called a papoose, a baby carrier. Yeah, I used to have a baby carrier when he was little. So you're fine with the saddle, baby carrier. Mm -hmm. Don't like the bridle. The reins. Well, perfect. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think we solved that's it. That's where I drew the line. And that's with a with an idiot. Yeah. Like, yeah, very young kids. Very stupid. I assume Centaur not stupid. Maybe the Centaur does have the mind of a child. Oh. Uh, All the more reason to treat it fairly then. Yeah. You could easily trick it into having that brindle. That's true. Um, thanks so much. Average horse like you. Oh, how smart are they? So is a centaur halfway between man and horse? Three-year-old? Um, what is horse IQ? Four-year-old. It's one of those. 
Isn't it like the smartest dog is like as smart as like a seven year old or something? How clever is horse? Um, one of the most intelligent animals on earth. Okay. Um, I want to know compared to person. Oh, look here. Which one? Boom. Three year old child. Ah. Okay. So a 30 year old person, a 30 year old centaur. Oh, no, they're like a grumpy teenager. They, they were like a teenager, right? <laughs> oh, I don't want to wear the bridle. <laughs> oh, lame. Oh, you're not even my real rider. <laughs> okay, right. Sure. Okay. You have a grumpy, angsty centaur <laughs> that you have to ride. You know, at that stage, fucking put a, put a, put a bit in their mouth. <laughs> yeah, just shut them up. Shut them up. Um, oh, but also, teenagers horny. Oh, no. What a minefield. What a minefield. <laughs> Who would have thought? Man, centaurs. Just always, always a problem. <laughs> has everyone been? Do I turn? God, that, our little diversion has made me totally lose track of this turn. Uh, kill dwarf. Kill, kill groblin. Dwarf and scavman. I find it amazing that we're talking about centaurs again. We didn't start it. Do you know five literally asked us about <laughs> centaurs? Yeah, um, chat is the centaur, like, they, you guys keep bringing it up. Yeah. All right, we're doing our best with what with what we're given. Yeah, it'd be like you being mad. You're like, oh, gross, my fireplace is burning coal again as you're shoveling coal <laughs> into it. <laughs> it's oh, so, why is it so smoky in so here? It's so smoky, lame. <laughs> why do you keep burning this coal? <laughs> Fuck. I was just like... <laughs> what, what do you want me to do? What do you, what, what do you want me to fucking do? Yeah. Um, I do love the idea that chat is just one totally insane person. Yeah, that's it, how, I, how I picture them. <laughs> just just all shit firing on in every direction. <laughs> that's it. Jeremy, as I, as I read the chat, I do yeah. just picture it as one. Just one bonkers, bonkers person. <laughs> Who's that, like, was it Greek or Roman right, giant? Wasn't that like a oh, mega giant crazy. that had like a yeah. hundred heads? Ooh, maybe. It sounds vaguely familiar. What's that a thing? Do they have like a hundred heads and a hundred arms? Hecoton cherries? It's a hundred hands. Oh. oh. Is there a thing with, with a million heads or personalities or something? That seems very familiar. Hundred hands. Did the, wasn't there one with a hundred heads? I swear there was one with a hundred heads. Hmm. But maybe. Maybe not. Hydra. <laughs> I mean, you, you could get there eventually. You could. Yeah. Just chop its head off 50 times. <laughs> yeah, and chops the other them. <laughs> yeah. 100 heads and a thousand hands. What? 100 hands and a hundred eyes. There are a lot oh of different... Oh my god, so many answers. One um, of them might be right. Hmm. I want to, I want to search. Can we, can we search this? It's going to be impossible to type, though. Uh, myth... Hey, look, it's head... 100 head giant. That's a thousand head giant. Oh, here. Greek. It's got a lot of arms. Definitely a hundred hands. Okay. Sentimanes. Okay, let's um head. Fifty heads. One hundred arms. Well there we go. The hundred handers were monstrous giants of enormous size and strength with fifty heads and one hundred arms. Wow. Cotus. Show me Cotus. Uh oh. careful because I saw the preview of some of those images and that looked like Oh, was it? Bit fruity. It looked I a bit sexy. Greek myths do get sexy. But it looked a bit anime sexy. Oh, okay. Uh, well, there you go. You are remembering it correctly. Wow. These guys sound bonkers. And also, weren't they like badasses? Oh, you would be, wouldn't you? Um, but like, they could kill gods level of badasses. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, look. Well, they were titans, right? Um, and they. they uh, fought someone and then they got like banished and then someone brought them back and then they did some more did, did some work for someone else and oh. then they were free that is a real law hammer version of my knowledge of them okay what happened to them in the end I think I, my gut says that they made peace and then they just retired <laughs> just chilling just, just chilling that's my gut okay 